Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another one. We got a nice little uh, stack of movies to go through, so let's uh, hopefully that we get through this without uh, taking too long. But I got a gang of little movies here that I ended up picking up for a buck a piece, so uh, thank you, Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and start off. One of the first movies I ended up getting was Tomorrow You're Gone. Of course, this stars Steven Dorff, Michelle Monaghan, and uh, Willem Dafoe. The man who pops up and everything and does a good job picked this up it was a buck didn't hear too much about it but for a dollar and the actors that are actually in it i'm willing to check it out so picked it up tomorrow you're gone next thing i picked up was a movie i wasn't too sure about but i saw a review for it and they said it was aight it was pretty good and since it was a dollar i went in and took a chance on it and that would be josie of course starring uh, sophie turner from game of thrones so I have to check it out, so we'll see. It was a buck, but I do like that cover art. The purple is popping. Next thing I picked up was another Dollar Tree roundup, and that was Day of the Falcon. Starring Taha Rahim, Antonio Banderas, Mark Strong, and Frida Pinto. Supposed to be about an empire, money, oil in the desert and of course that caused conflict between these people so I decided to check it out I like the actors so they did good in other things I've seen so why not and then I picked up a movie that I want to see for a long long ridiculously long time but I never got a chance to check it out in the movie theaters or on cable and it was a dollar so this is one of the movies I specifically went into Dollar Tree trying to hunt down and they actually had it for once and that was Knight of Cups of course with a uh, Christian Bell in it I want to check this one out it's supposed to be about a guy who works in Hollywood and uh, the entertainment industry so it is a Terrence Malick film so it should at least have some good interesting uh, aspects to it so so I have to pick it up Knight of Cups finally actually get to watch that damn Next thing I picked up was a movie called Assassination. Saw a review for it. They said it was actually pretty good. And of course, you know, I like my uh, gangster dramas with a little bit of action in there. And this looks like it has everything I need. Plus, you can't beat that. She holding that Tommy gun. So this should be interesting to check out as far as action goes. So I'm looking forward to checking out Assassination. Next thing I picked up was a movie that I did not have a physical copy of for some reason and well, I saw the cover on this and I said oh I got to add this one to the collection and that pickup ended up being The Exorcist and this is part of the $8 movie cast for IT Chapter 2 and this is the uh, one with that nice slip cover with that eye effect. I saw this and I was like, damn, yeah, I guess to pick this up. And this is actually the director's cut. It does not come with the uh, theatrical cut, I believe. It's just the director's cut. And since I don't own any version of Exorcist, I was like, damn it, I need to get on it. And the price was right on this. And I really like that lenticular cover on this. They have a still book release of this too, but this lenticular cover, I picked this one up. And then I was getting ready to go get this. And I said, oh, they're coming out with a still book. And then I saw the lenticular cover. I said, I'm getting a particular cover. We got a steel book, but I really like the cover on this one. So picked up this version of The Exorcist. There you have it. Next thing I picked up was a movie I heard about, I got hyped for. My hype died down a little bit because I forgot about it. And then I looked it up a little while back and I said, when is this coming out on Blu-ray? And it's like, oh, it's coming out in 4K. So I got to get it. And this is a film from Zhang Yumo, and this dude uh, directed uh, one of my favorite martial arts films, like in my top 10, and that is uh, House of Flying Daggers. I like Hero a lot too, but I really like that damn House of Flying Daggers. And from what I'm hearing, this thing in 4K is extra, extra crispy. So I'm kind of glad that I actually went for the 4K one, plus the cover on this thing is sick. That thing is nice. So I'm really, 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 really looking forward to actually just sitting down, getting some quiet time, blocking the world out, and uh, checking out Shadow. So this should be an interesting watch. Really looking forward to checking this one out. Next thing I'm picking up is a movie I saw the trailer for. And I said, they're actually making that? 
And if they had the balls to actually make this, I said, you know what? That got my attention. I will actually pick this up. And that would be the Banana Splits movie. It's actually a horror movie. I guess cashing in a bit on that uh, Five Nights at Freddy vibe that everybody likes so much now. I like watching people watch uh, play uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It is ridiculously funny the damn jump scares on people. But the concept of this is it's supposed to be, you know, the banana splits from like, I guess the 60s to 70s. And like the only thing I know about the banana splits is these shorts I used to see when I was younger, I think on Boomerang. They used to show a lot of the banana split stuff on there. And then the concept of them taking that and turning it into a horror movie. I say, yeah, that's going to be a day one for me. So I'm definitely going to be checking this one out. Plus, I bought it, so of course I'm checking it out. But when I once I saw the trailer for this, I said, "Yeah, I'm all over this." I thought that was an interesting uh, concept. Plus, you know, I like my little horror movie. Plus, taking the banana splits and turning it into a horror movie, I like that idea. So, pick that up. I think I'm gonna actually really have uh, fun watching that one, especially if Warner Brothers. Okay, and that I did not expect that. Yeah, you never know with them. They surprised me and I like it. And the next thing I picked up is a TV show that I really like. And for some particular reason, I own season one and two and I watched them. But I did not get a chance to completely watch the third season. So it came out on Blu-ray. I'm picking it up. I really like this show because of the blend and action and drama with it. it gives you kind of that throwback feel of how uh, Xena was and Hercules. But just uh, a little bit more serious at times, even though. Seen in Hercules did have some uh, serious drama go down on him. This actually gave me like that nostalgic feel of those particular TV shows, especially after watching the first two seasons. I really like this show on a whole. I like the actors. I like where the story's going, and I sp uh, specifically like the action and how they do the uh, choreography for this show. So, looking forward to checking this out. I believe this is the last season, so I'm gonna watch this one, and enjoy it for what it was. Hopefully the ending uh, ties up all the loose ends and I uh, end up enjoying it. So really like Into the Badlands. So pick that up. The uh, next thing I picked up was a big blockbuster movie. Didn't get to the theaters to go check this out. I wanted to, but I did not make it. So I said, hey, 4K is coming out. I'll pick it up. And of course I ended up picking up Godzilla King of Monsters, the uh, 4K Best Buy Steel book. And yeah, I got an unboxing for this, so if you want to see what this thing looks like, gutted it and uh, opened up, I got you. Don't worry, your boy got you. So, picked up Godzilla King of Monsters. Let's see if it actually ends up being any good. Added that to the collection. The next thing I picked up was another movie that I didn't get a chance to get to the movies to go see, but I did like the concept behind it. And I said, okay, if they can do that. I'm willing to check it out because I thought the concept was really cool. Plus, I heard some good things about it from some people I actually trust when they actually do their reviews, and they gave it a good review. So, I said I'm gonna check it out, and that ended up being *Brightburn*. If you haven't seen the trailers or you don't know the concept, just imagine what would happen if uh, Superman came to Earth, but the story went left instead of right and that's basically what it is with some good horror elements in it from what i've been told so i'm willing to check it out good concept the twist on the uh comic book movie i'm down for that so we'll be checking out bright burn in 4k keeping it extra crispy and the next thing i picked up is a movie that i already own on blu-ray i bought the, the blu-ray for this a while back and then I heard it's like, oh yeah, they're doing a Blu-ray uh, release from Criterion. I was like, damn. I kept saying, damn, am I go double dip? But I really do love this damn movie. So yeah, I said I double dip. Plus the uh, gang of features they have on this one is uh, well worth it. And that particular film is Do the Right Thing. So went ahead and uh, capped that. And I was like, damn. I went to go when it came in the middle. I was like, damn. I said, yeah. I said, that digi pack. I see you, Criterion. I see you. So I said, of course, I'm going to pick up Do the Right Thing. I love that damn movie. Plus, we'll get to see all the special features with this release. So, And, and they just had the anniversary for uh, Do the Right Thing not too long ago. So, yeah. 
definitely worth double dipping and putting in the collection. The next thing I picked up is a movie that I saw a while ago, but I never actually bought it. I never watched it, but I just saw it. Well, I spotted it at uh, Barnes & Noble, and I was like, damn, what is that movie about? So I looked up some of the information about the movie, and from the details that I got, it seems like something that I would really enjoy. So I went ahead and picked it up, and that would be the Criterion release of House. Supposed to be a horror fantasy movie with some uh, crazy elements in it, and I said, "Okay, they hit all the uh, right switches for me, so I'm picking it up." So I picked up House. Hopefully, I will enjoy it. I have not heard anything bad about this particular film, so yeah, I went ahead and spent that money on it. Picked up House, and the last thing I picked up was a movie that I saw years ago when I was younger, but I saw this like late 90s this movie came out in 1990 but i saw this movie like late 90s early 2000s i think it was on sundance channel or ifc when they actually used to show like the good independent movies back in the day like they used to when i was a kid but they really don't now they push their own content the tv shows like everybody else but nothing's wrong with that from what i can see so far the content that both channels push out is not trash so they're doing a good job at least at that but the movie I ended up picking up was To Sleep With Anger. I slightly remember some elements from this movie. I remember liking it. I, I watched it like on a miscellaneous ass day. I think it was like a Friday or a Saturday or something. And I ended up watching it and I liked it. But it was a long time ago when I watched it. I have not seen it since then. And when I heard they were doing a Criterion uh, release of it, I said, oh snap. I said, I gotta snatch that. So. Of course I picked up to sleep with anger and this is a film by Charles Burnett and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have him talking a lot about the movie if I remember reading the special features correctly some retrospectives and him talking about the film so I'm looking forward to actually checking this out to sleep with anger and of course this saw is Danny Glover as well I don't want to give too too much of the plot away but he pops up on one of his old friends once he's moved to California and he starts bringing up some old stuff and then it has like a, another element to it and I'll leave it at that without ruining too much, without ruining the movie too much itself. But from what I remember, it was a pretty, pretty good, good film. So let's see how my uh, feelings on this film will be when I watch it now. I'll probably still enjoy it, but I don't know if I think differently about it once I watch it now, being older. So we'll see. Probably end up liking it more. But that's everything I picked up this go around to sleep with anger. Do the right thing. House. Godzilla King of Monsters. Brightburn. Into the Badlands Season 3. The Banana Splits movie. Shadow, The Exorcist with that uh, fire lenticular cover, Assassination, Knight of Cups, Day of the Falcon, Josie, I might have to pan out a little bit, I'm getting too high on the stack, and Tomorrow You're Gone. So, that's everything I pick up, picked up this uh, particular round. Let me know what you think about what I picked up and did you get any of these movies or do you own any of these movies already? But otherwise than that, I will catch you all in the next one. All right, everybody.